Hi guys, Rob Kelly here. Um, thanks very much for all the replies and responses uh, to my posting about this uh, article up on the BBC website. Um, one particular point I thought easier addressing on a video is the idea that this particular phobia, metaphobia, has to be something that takes a long time to overcome. Now, I'm not saying that you should try and overcome it in a day or as quickly as you possibly can, but there are good reasons when, particularly when undertaking an hour program, I imagine anyone else's training program to overcome a metaphobia, to try and do it all in one go, to try and do it in a block. You don't want to, for example, um, work really hard uh, on your thinking, your beliefs uh, for two or three days and then not do anything for another three or four days because you'll kind of go back to square one. You have to start the program and keep working at it every single day until you get better. Now if you do that and you do that absolutely thoroughly and you are belligerent about it and you are absolutely focused on it, once you understand what you've got to do, that will probably take you between three and four weeks to do that. Once you've got the psychoeducational knowledge, once you've got the understanding of what you need to do in order to overcome it, it will probably take you between three and four weeks. And that's completely backed up by both of our research projects. We did a, a research project three or four years ago now, and we had 62 people going through the program uh, for metaphobia. All of them overcame their metaphobia, and the average time it took them was about six and a half weeks. Now that's right from the very beginning, that's learning how to overcome it, learning all this psychoeducational stuff behind it, and then doing it. Once you know what to do, the actual doing of it doesn't take very long at all. So for example, uh, instead of taking three or four weeks to learn the understandings and the psychoeducational element behind it and the what to do, let's say you learn that in one day, you could then immediately go into applying it, the practical part of it, in which case it would probably take you just three to four weeks. We've just finished uh, an advanced version of that original study. We've now had, I think, 163 people that have completed the study, all of whom are over there in metaphobia. Um, and I think the average time is still just six weeks. And that's from getting hold of the book, first of all, or seeing a consultant if they had consultant help, um, to being, you know, whatever they describe as completely over it. There are different understandings of the word cure. I wasn't the first to use the word cure. I only used that word in the title of the program because that was the word 12 years ago when I first started developing the program that most emetophobes, that was the state that most emetophobes wanted to get to. They wanted to get to the point where they felt cured. And most of the people that successfully go through the program would use that word to describe where they get to. So they would describe that they're cured, or they're cured enough, or they've cured themselves. And usually in six to seven weeks. So the idea that it takes three to four weeks, or can take three to four weeks, I'm not saying that to be glib. I'm not saying that to say the, the program's so amazingly fantastic. I'm not saying that, I'm certainly not saying that, so someone puts pressure on themselves to do that. I'm not saying you should try to do that. I'm saying, if the program was stick to religiously, that's probably how long it would take. Now, the reason to state to, to, to state that, to say that, is because many people do want to go through the program absolutely religiously. Many people do want to go through it uh, and dot every single I and cross every single T and want some idea about how quickly they should see changes in their feelings, in their behaviours, in their... Um, safety seeking and, uh, and avoidance behaviors this kind of stuff and really it should be pretty soon after starting the program one should start to feel better you should really start to feel um, better off after you first start putting it into practice what i would say is though and a few of the comments people have said no, i've read the book i've read the book twice reading the book isn't going to do anything having the knowledge within the book isn't going to do anything it's not going to over come your metaphobia. It's not going to cure you of metaphobia. Thrive is a doing thing. The Thrive program is a doing thing. You need to understand the content of the book or the program and then you need to put it into practice every single day. Every single day you need to spend at least 
half an hour or an hour reading, studying the book, working through the quizzes, doing the homework, but also during the day for those five, six, seven weeks, however long you're studying the program, you want to be putting in effort to manage your thinking, to challenge safety seeking and avoidance behaviours. According to the latest research, we have somewhere between 50 to 60,000 thoughts a day. 50 to 60,000 thoughts every single day. Now, if you get up at 8 a.m. and you go to bed at 10 p.m., that's about one thought every single second. If the majority of those thoughts are unhelpful, i.e., if the majority of those thoughts are either directly or indirectly about emetophobia and it being terrifying and it being the worst thing in the world and you being out of control and your life being rubbish because of it, then that's going to be very hard to overcome emetophobia. Mind you, if you had 45,000 thoughts a day about anything in a, in a frightening or terrifying way, you would have a big phobia about it. So managing those day-to-day -day thoughts as well and reducing and challenging them is a significant part of the programme. But the purpose of this video was to say, again, that it's not a challenge to somebody I'm not challenging emetophobes to attempt to overcome their phobia in three to four weeks. And that's not in any way, shape or form said to dismiss the significance of their symptoms. That's not that at all. I don't mean to dismiss it in any way, shape, I don't think I did, but I don't mean to dismiss it in any way, shape or form. I've mostly treated emetophobes for the last 30 years. I would doubt that anyone in the UK, if not the rest of the world, has treated or spent as much time with the metaphobes as I have, I absolutely understand how devastating this problem is for the sufferers, which is why I've dedicated a significant part of my life to helping them. So it's, it's not a glib thing when I say the program, when undertaken and focused on, would take three to four weeks. That's not to suggest that emetophobia isn't a huge problem. It is the biggest single problem I've ever helped people overcome the biggest single phobia, biggest single problem I've ever helped people with. Um, but to suggest that it should or would take months or years to overcome is not true. It's mostly based on erroneous beliefs and very strong beliefs that the sufferers hold about sickness and things like locus of control and how they attribute reasons to what they're suffering from and how they're feeling. And actually, it doesn't take very long to change a belief. A belief is just a thought that you keep on thinking. The moment you stop thinking those thoughts that are maintaining that belief, the belief will stop. Uh, a couple of our uh, exometophobes, particularly one called Lisa, if you do a, a YouTube search on our YouTube channel for Lisa's video, she actually overcame her metaphobia in three days. Now, again, I'm not saying that to put pressure on anyone out there or to piss people off about anything. It is just a fact that when you process the information correctly and you put in the right leverage and the right effort in the right direction, this thing doesn't need to take a long time for you to overcome. It can be done very, very quickly. And an obvious example of that, again, is Mary, the 82-year-old, who had really bad emetophobia for 75 years. She still overcame it in six weeks. She was still completely over it in six weeks. And that's from never having read the book to studying the book, understanding what she needs to do, putting in loads of effort and overcoming it. I did. She did have one session with me as well, but she did it almost entirely by herself in six weeks. Now, if someone that's been suffering for 75 years and had all sorts of therapy and hospitalizations for her emetophobia can overcome it in six weeks, then really anybody can. Anyway, I hope this has answered a couple of those questions. Thanks very much indeed for watching it.